Juan Lima in the white gi. Dimitri Souza in the blue. Souza representing Alliance and Lima. Cicero Costa. Let's get into it. We saw a very measured match from Luan Lima in his first outing today where Dimitri Souza, while stuck in deep half for a considerable amount of time, was able to turn the tide and immediately slam on the submission choke from the back. Sosa has an incredible guard. But if he had noticed Lima, Lima's earlier matches, he might have seen that. Lima is also very sturdy inside of most positions. Fought very well inside of the guard. Change on the feet. Sosa off the pole guard. Definitely an area where he's quite comfortable. Incredible guard. Very well known for a variety of attacks and submissions from there. Didn't miss anything on the feet for a while. He just pole guard. We see Lucas Lima adopting that same sort of stance that he did in his previous match. so patient in his quarterfinal match today, Lucas Lima. And it really was doing, it did well for him because in that quarterfinal match, he stayed so patient in this position that his opponent opened his guard. It was... Um, Peter. Yep. Peter Zucci. <clears throat> Peter Zucci eventually opened up his guard in frustration and that opened up a pass for Lucas Lima. But Demetrius Souza displayed the patience necessary in his match by passing the deep half guard late into the match. So this is an interesting blend of styles here. So Sosa really trying to extend the right arm there, Lima, to get maybe an overhook. This is a very interesting position to open up your guard in, too, because I imagine the reason you're arching over like this is to make it so you can't get waiter swept. Of course, muscle sweep, waiter sweep. You can't get put in that situation. So if the person opens up their guard, it's very easy to bring your elbow back in and immediately initiate a smash pass. Grappling on Instagram at Flow Grappling. Have all the updates of everything from Worlds and everything following Worlds there, including athlete interviews and updates, bracket predictions for future events. It's all there at Flow Grappling. You got it. So our last major event of the year. Very happy to be doing that as the World Championships this time around. It's been an incredible event. Here we see Lucas Lima start to open up just a bit. Great double grip on the sleeve by Demetrius Souza that'll recover his guard. And we're right back in the closed guard. My goodness, what movement.
winner of this match will go on to face Kainan Duarte in the final of the heavyweight division. We're already just over the five minute mark of the match. A very, very patient game from Luan Lima. But when he opens up, he opens up quick. When the match gets opened up, he does try very quick pass attempts. He's just so keen on. I like the overwrap here from Dimitri Souza. Again, not a ton of movement to limit from Lima, but at the same time, it's just another lever to pull when things get going here. Well, the interesting thing about that wrap is not only is it he's trying to keep his elbow locked so that it doesn't break, he might re-engage that grip. It's a, it's a spin on the classical arm behind lapel, and you pull it back in front to mitigate their ability to pull it in or out. It's really good for setting up triangles and mapladas and other attacks like that. Soza opens the guard. See Luan really trying to pull that foot through so he can possibly pass to his right side. Oh, big pass to the left being attempted. Fabio Gurgel in the corner there. Dimitri Souza, leader of Alliance. And Rodrigo Pinheiro in the corner of Luan Lima. I think what's impressive is how this this has to be so tiring for Luan Lima to stay in a Romanian deadlift for 10 minutes. Hey, he is unbothered. And as you mentioned, when Demetrius opts to open the guard, he's very quick to capitalize on that brief space. Now, so his guard is also excellent, so that space is very small and has resulted in no points for anybody. But he is biding his time and arguably forcing the match to be fought at his pace. Sosa is working very hard to make something happen, but not getting very far. And it's not like Luan is necessarily stalling because he's on his feet. If Demetrius wanted to get things going, he could open his guard, no? I mean, there's so many things that go into this. How do we look at this from the ref's perspective? It's definitely a very intriguing game plan, and it's been working. Once again, we come down to the last 45 seconds of the match. One key exchange is all either athlete needs an advantage or points to make make it through the next, to the final. So Dimitri Souza trying to engage that lapel wrap over the arm. He did that before on the other side, and now the guard is open with 20 seconds left. the crowd getting behind these attempts of Luan Lima possibly trying to pass to the side
see. It's unanimous. Every one of the referees thought. They were of one.